Through These Doors is sponsored by Shields. Full of heroes, especially those who sacrificed to keep us safe. Thank you, veterans from Shields. Hey, everybody, Josh Jamal here uh, in the inner sanctum of the Ralph Engelstead Arena. This place is probably the most beautiful sporting arena I've ever been to. Uh, I don't know why any uh, high school hockey kid wouldn't want to come play for the University of North Dakota. It's, yeah. it's, it's amazing in the record, in the history. Uh, you know, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be at the Ralph. I was here about 12 years ago and none of this existed down here. It's just unbelievable. First time in six years, North Dakota faced off with Minnesota on home ice. The building was a buzz with anticipation as the two teams hit the ice. Friday night, though, found UND in a familiar place as both goaltenders shut things down for most of the game. Center for middle stat. Nice pass into the middle. He's in all alone. They score for Pitlick. After falling down 2 0, Brett Gardner buried the team's only goal for the night. Uh, I honestly thought we played a, a pretty good 60 minutes. I mean, they're, uh, they're a team that takes advantage of opportunity, and they took advantage of a couple of our breakdowns, but I thought all in all, we're pretty happy with that effort. There's a few things we got to fix going in tomorrow, but I think we're, we're trying to stay positive after that. Saturday was a different story. The Ralph came alive as Nick Jones gave UND the lead just five minutes into the game. Steered to mismatch on the right side. Mismatch. Now center Jones shoots and scores. You know, I've had I've had a lot of chances. Uh, you know, it's, it's been frustrating the first five games coming into tonight, um, but uh, it, was, it felt great to get that first one. UND expanded its lead after taking advantage of a five-minute major with goals from Christian Mullanen and Colton Pullman. For Pullman, he'll shoot, score! Colton Pullman with a wrister through all the traffic and past Shearhorn. It was Wolanin, though, who stole the show by connecting on his second goal of the game shortly after Pullman on the same power play, securing a 4 nothing shutout. They came out hard. I know uh, we weren't rewarded last night for our effort, but our guys stuck with it, and uh, you know they had a mentality to try to try to get the uh, the win tonight, and they did. I thought it was key scoring early in the game, especially on some power plays, uh, getting the early lead, and that was uh, that was part of the key of the game. I kind of go into these games, the big games, the, the, the showtime games, and I look to kind of make my mark, like you said. Um, but the team was more important, and it was, it was great to be a part of this rivalry. Junior Christian Wolanin has started off the season on a strong note, garnering six points through six games. His energy on the ice mirrors his electric personality off the ice. She doesn't answer. It's on video. It's on camera. That. Hi. Okay. Come on. Oh. Hold for two. Come on, 
going in. Back through here, kitchen area. Obviously not clean. Cam, do your dishes, please. He's a cutie, picked him up last year. Uh, beginning of the year. I don't know what, what our motivation to get a cat was, but we thought it'd be funny and then at first he went through his young stages where he was always causing trouble and real curious and then he got uh <laughs> he's actually been really really cute ever since it's a really good addition to the house so i like i like to call him a lot though uh, whether it's just advice for hockey or advice for school or advice for really anything he's always he's always he's the first person i go to and then uh, on the other hand my mom uh my mom's usually usually she she, she covers all categories as well but um, it's usually less about hockey and less about um, life lessons and it's usually just somewhere that someone there to love me and let me know that everything's gonna be okay and that there's no need to panic I'm only 22 years old. <laughs> Growing up in Detroit, Michigan, Willannon played with fellow Michigander Cam Johnson. Um, way back in the day but when we both started playing hockey um, there's a silver Easton synergy that just came out and you know I was fortunate enough I got one for Christmas and uh, like back when the silver synergy first came out first hockey stick was like the first one piece I know Cam got it and um, my first practice with it I remember him and I were doing these these drills where you race around the circle and I, I think I might have beat him a couple times and he got a little frustrated and came over and slashed my stick out of my hand and I had an old blue wood stick and I slashed his his brand new silver synergy and he was Super, super sad about it and crying inside the net. And, and you know, he kind of fought a little bit there, but um, no, that was, that was just a funny little memory that I have from, from growing up. We got in a big fight that day, so that's probably, that's probably one memory that we both have in common. It's uh, pretty good uh, most of the time. No, <laughs> it's a good guy. He's uh, fun to be around, and uh, most of all, he's a, he's a great friend. That's why. Uh, my third year living with him, and uh, yeah, yeah, don't. It's <laughs> a good, great guy. Once again, I do everything around here. You love and you learn. Remote's missing. All okay, came, no fun. <laughs> Though he isn't wearing a letter, Milanin's leadership is helping guide the team. I think you know, from his past experience, you know, he's elevated his game. Now he's in a higher role than he ever has been. Uh, you know, he came in here as a freshman. He learned under Paula Du, Troy Stetcher, Gage Auspice. Um, those type of players uh, were the guys before him. Uh, he learned from them. Uh, you know, now all those attributes, you know, he's showing on the ice, on and off the ice, uh, what it takes to be, uh, you know, in our North Dakota culture. And now he's helping out the guys like. Uh, Josh Regeer and Matt Kirsted uh, and Gabe Bast, uh, the first year players in our group here. So it's it's kind of that continuum of, uh, of our mentality and culture that, uh, that our guys get and they pass on to each other. Um, you know, he's, he's a guy that, as I've watched grow, he's just become a, a better and better hockey player. And, um, you know, he's a, he's a very confident player. And when he's playing with confidence, he's, he's unbelievable, as you can see. And, you know, he's a, he's a guy, he's a special player, a guy that I love having in the lineup in, in front of me every night. And, you know, a guy that I'm fortunate enough to, to have been able to come to college with. So it's, it's been awesome. It's, it's been a blessing. And, um, you know, I know our parents are both proud of us back home. And it's pretty cool seeing how far we've came. Well, when you uh, when you visit the University of North Dakota, it's it's tough to walk into the Ralph, to walk into this building, and, and uh, I think that you're better off somewhere else. This place is unbelievable. We're lucky to we're lucky to have everything that we have here. For the first time this season, NCHC play begins as UND travels to Colorado Springs to take on Colorado College. Colorado, you know, uh, they're a team that's uh, they're a hard-working team. You know, they're starting to score goals now. Their record's four and two, and uh, you know, Mike Havlin and his group, uh, he's been there a few years now, and he's put his stamp on his team on the way they want to play. And uh, and again, they're having some success right now. So, biggest thing for us is making sure that we build our game the way we want to, and uh, and, and have in mind that we're playing against a hard-nosed, uh, fast uh, Colorado team in their rink. And again, uh, we're going on the road now. Uh, like we did in Alaska, and we got to make sure that we play the right way. A uh, uh, good, good, solid road game. 
obviously they've uh, had a good start to the year. They're four and two. They, uh, they're a hard team to play against. Uh, obviously last year they have a good goalie. Saw that last year, and uh, yeah, we just uh, keep keep uh, building on our game, uh, doing doing the right things on the ice, and uh, uh, building that way. That's a pretty tough place to play. I mean, last year we got a split out of there, and I know maybe years past a lot of. Um, for me, UND teams kind of look past this weekend, but they're uh, they're a pretty legit team this year, and they're pretty good last year too. So we got our work cut out for us, and we're gonna have to get uh, get our work in this week and kind of get prepared for them. And we're excited to go go down there and try and get two wins. Delete that. It's a blooper. 